Let's open this one up too. And this box is what everybody's going to want. Everybody's going to want this. We're out here in our little spot. We got it all installed. And man, let's get out here and take a peek at the car. Some really, really cool carbon fiber exterior bits. We got some matte dry carbon fiber accents I think from. That looks good. Yeah, man. So this is the pre preg stuff. So when you flip it around the back, okay. So not like the cheap stuff that has like the fiberglass on the mm -hmm. back right here. This is all like pre preg. So it's supposed to be like really durable. Rock chips and stuff like that, and just debris and you know weather. So this is the stuff that you want. But a couple of pieces here. We got some grill inserts. We got some other goodies. Yeah, Ooh. so GT500 style. I like that. But look how it's all like pre-drilled and everything. Yeah. Heck yeah. So you don't have to like just just run screws up through the thing and like butcher it all up. Uh, all the way to the front. Yeah. Right about there. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's, that's, that's gonna look that's good. That's kind of fancy dancy. Yes, sir. Let me let me come over here. Lower it makes the car look too. Mm-hmm. So dry matte carbon fiber finish is gonna, I think, match well with the uh, the OEM finish here. You can. They also have gloss black. This is uh, Night Top. I'm gonna butcher that name, but I'm gonna link everything down below. Go check them out. But this is gonna be really good looking when it's on the car. But we're still waiting on the front lip. Uh, some other pieces also like the dark horse styled fender trim the front lip that's going to go underneath of your factory spoiler here yep you got some inserts there the big highlight that everybody's going to want everybody's going to nice. want that yes sir so no drilling required this is how that's going to look so this gives it that dark horse style gurney flap in the back for your performance package spoiler oh yeah that looks that looks spicy that looks really good so decided to go with the dry matte over the car or over the uh, the gloss finish because I think it's got more of a rich kind of like race inspired the kind of look to it. But they do have different options. So dry matte or gloss should be a pretty easy install. Um, where we've got a rear diffuser piece that's going to come eventually too, and I think it's going to really transform the way that this Mustang looks. You need window tint still. Though. I do. Yes. Perfect fit. Yeah, perfect fit. Look at that. I mean, it goes. It sits in there nicely, and yep. then look at that. I mean, that's perfect. So I like how the uh, the matte kind of contrasts well with the flat black yep. plastic and your lip that you have on right now. Yep. So from a distance, it almost looks like it's not there, but when you get up close, yep. And you have this little lip here, this it's little design. Subtle. I will say that. Mm -hmm. Well, that that was kind of the idea was to not be like too. Some people, you know, they do carbon fiber everywhere, and the glossy stuff sometimes it looks too gaudy and ricey. I didn't want to do that, but that looks really good. But let's see, it's kind of a different look. The the black pony, I think it'll mm -hmm. it'll contrast a little different. Just kind of three M's onto the back here, and then we're gonna isopropyl alcohol the whole thing and then put some sticky tape on there make sure it doesn't fly off but kind of a cool design here so the little lights that come through you still got the cut out there then they got these little fin fins there to give it a little aesthetic look here looks good another reason I chose to go with the dry matte finish is because all over the interior we have this faux carbon from Ford it's all over the place all over the dash and it will kind of tie together i think so we got her stuck on there it looks really good again i think it uh it contrasts really well with the um the factory plastic there i think this is what everybody's gonna want to buy let's get a wipe down this is gonna look freaking good though so check this out like before we tape it down the corner how it angles up right here yep. and this just like continues mm -hmm. oh that looks good yeah, that looks very good. I like that. Does that look centered? Uh, that looks good. Yeah, it does. Okay. That's the most satisfying thing right there. Mm -hmm. Pulling the tape. Ugh. Dark horse kind of styled gurney on the back of this spoiler. So you will need the performance package spoiler for this. Again, you can get them in gloss, but we like the matte finish here. Really, really a good job. Go check out the website. Pick up one of these. Save, uh, I think it's 10% when you use promo code Xander13, discount code Xander13 at checkout for any of their stuff. But they've got a bunch of different things for the S650 Mustang. They've also got some truck stuff too for like Toyotas and some other things, but different vehicles 
motorcycles, but um, really high end stuff here, so definitely not cheap. And uh, this is that good carbon. All right, one more time. Take a peek at the back of it. Yes, sir. All right, guys, here we are about a month later. But what we have left is some stuff that you're really gonna want. I think that this is gonna satisfy most everybody. Everybody wants, especially if you don't have a dark horse, you got a regular Mustang GT, uh, an EcoBoost 2024 Mustang, is that dark horse style fender trim. We got it, we're gonna install it. And we also have, right here in this box, a giant front splitter that's gonna go underneath of our OEM. It's gonna look really good. We also have the GT500 rocker extensions. We also did add the front black pony and the black badging all over the car looks amazing. Everything has held up great so far over the past month or so. You guys are going to definitely want to pick one of these up. Again, follow the links down below in the video description for discount codes on everything that you're going to see here. But like you saw already in the video, everything is pretty much already pre-drilled. So we're going to use a lot of the factory locating um, positions here for all the screws in here but check this out oh my gosh i've been waiting so long for this it's finally showed up here's the front lip as you can see everything is already pre-drilled looks really good so it's going to give you these little extensions on the side that's going to kind of match the rocker extension down there night top again video descriptions check out the discount code save some money all right so let's open this one up too in this box is what everybody's gonna want everybody's gonna want this i've already peeked forgive me but this is the fender trim for your non-dark horse and this is going to be something that you're going to want if you're going to run like a wide wheel setup also it's going to protect the paint and everything on the side to give that fender extension it's going to give that aggressive look a little bit of paint protection and it's going to allow you to run a wider set up in the front kind of like a dark horse or like the old mach ones where you've got the wider front comes with all your hardware and everything you need also comes with instructions heck yeah let's go all right so i'm just getting everything kind of finger tight in the back holes make sure everything lines up before we actually start sticking tape oh heck yeah guys check this out oh perfect fit good job good job with the design i really like this how you've got this little indentation of the factory oem how it kind of steps down steps down again you see in the carbon right there how it just matches completely perfect there's no gaps anywhere that looks really freaking good oem fit all right guys everybody's favorite mod i'm sure everybody's gonna want one of these in combination with this front splitter and especially the spoiler gurney flap so in the front you've got four push tabs then you've got a screw and then one and then two here now check this out so they just painted the roads we've had a lot of weather they've been repainting and redoing the roads i guess i got too close okay so luckily it's coming off the side of the car i'm gonna really have to spend some time detailing to get all these little marks off they are coming off but uh this is basically yellow paint from the yellow lines on the road so it's coming off i just gotta scrape it uh luckily it's not really sticking to the the paint i just gotta find it. it's a little speckled anyway the reason is because i've got a wider wheel set up now i've got spacers but if you're running aftermarket it's gonna stick out before flush with the fenders okay so this might be something that really you'll want is this fender trim that's gonna it would capture a lot of the debris going down the side of the car also would allow you to run even wider wheels if you wanted to run an aggressive front setup which we do plan to do but just wanted to point this out that uh, this happened to me it might happen to you if you have an s650 and this fender trim may actually and should actually save your paint let's get it installed so i'm just going to clean this up as best i can we're out here in our little spot we got it all installed and man let's get out here and take a peek at the car the front lip installed we got the fender trim and we also installed the gt500 style for extensions we first did this about a month ago we had the corner pockets and we had the grill and we still had the aluminum chrome pony and it did not look right it looked like incomplete and then so we went to the black emblems it looked better but now with the mat on the bottom oh my goodness yes tied the car completely together where we also have the gurney flap down here they do have NY top also has a rear diffuser piece 
uh, coming soon hopefully we'll be able to put that on this car and show you what's up what that looks like and uh, it looks really aggressive um, I saw it on Instagram and I just was like blown away floored I need to have it on the car so good so aggressive it almost has like a dark horse like vibe to it now it's pretty cool so I've got like one inch spacers on the OEM wheels and they sat like dead flush with the front fenders okay kind of like they do in the rear as you can see now we have a little bit more protection from like rocks and stuff like that debris going down the side of the car it looks like we still have about another inch of play or room so if we want to run maybe another half inch wider Mach 1 handling package or the dark horse you know how they stick out like another half inch this fender trim is going to protect the car still and allow us to run that crazy offset this, this front lip is definitely my favorite aftermarket on the s650 by far so far thing no problems whatsoever guys if there was an issue i'd bring it up but i mean everything has just been perfect so side action going on here looks good looks good anybody that wants to know we are lowered on steeda dual rate springs this kind of a finish this kind of a setup it's kind of like an oem plus look really impressed really impressed and let me know in the comments what i guess particular piece would you be interested in buying the front lip the grill inserts the gurney flap or the fender trim that everybody wants everybody that doesn't have a dark horse everybody's got gt is going to want that i promise you it looks really good so anyway that's going to be the video god bless all of you I'll see you guys in the next one take care have a great day goodbye